Who's that? Hello. That's it, Malia. This one is going to follow you around. Good morning. We get asked a lot what it's like to live here in Kenya as a family and to raise our four-year-old here when it comes to traveling, safety, schooling, yeah. living, all of those things. All of that kind of stuff. So we thought we'd take the opportunity. Uh, we're in Lamu staying with some friends and we thought we would take the opportunity to sit down a little bit and talk about Life. that. <laughs> So we're coming to you from the beautiful Dow House in Lamu. It's a ginormous property. We'll tag them down below. And the kids right now are having a great time in the pool. It's a beautiful day. Yeah. It started a bit moody, actually quite moody and quite cold mm -hmm. this morning. And now it's just turned pure bliss, blue skies, tropics. It's very bright. All right, so I suppose we should start actually vlogging today. As we said earlier, it was um, the subject. There's a fly on my head. Uh, the subject of today's vlog is is what it's like to be here as a family and to live here. And one of the number one questions, particularly from people not living in Kenya, is about safety. Right? Yeah, I mean we're going to touch on different subjects, <clears throat> but I think we want to start about safety because I feel like it's. It's the first thing people it's ask. It's the first thing people ask and it's assumed that Africa is not safe or mm. Kenya or whatever. Um, so we can talk about safety a little bit today, mm -hmm. living as a family. Mm. So. I was queuing you to answer the question. Oh really? So. Alright, safety. How do you feel as Mama Malia? As Mama Malia. How do you feel about being in Kenya? I feel, I would say, as safe as I do at home back in the UK or let's say when we've lived in Thailand as well. You know, just being aware of the same things you would be aware anywhere else knowing your surroundings and just you know but we live in a very small sort of community in Kenya and um, it's very slow it's very quiet so things are very calm the coast um, is pretty chill the coast is very relaxed and um, not much is happening here but um, uh, we also have friends in uh, we have friends from Nairobi we have friends that live in more remote areas more built-up areas and we've never really heard any sort of issues about safety as a family or i mean look let's not be around the bush it's not 100 percent safe everywhere in this country of course uh, it's just not but let's say living on the coast particularly it's definitely a really laid back chill place where you don't ever really feel threatened and i think it's important as a foreigner to any country to understand that you are vulnerable, just like you would be in, in anywhere, any other country. But generally, I would say I feel safer here than I have done in many other countries around the world. That's true. What are you doing out here on your own? Waiting for you. Mm. <laughs> nice a nice little quiet time together mm -hmm. getting eaten by mosquitoes Miley's with our friends so we can just it's not often that we get actually that's one of the things when people ask us how it is living as a family in Kenya for us it's got nothing to do with the, the Kenya part it's more that we're away from family friends and any kind of help, help. Uh, so sometimes when we get this like 
30 minutes to just be together. I'd probably say have. that that, like, when, if someone asked what's the hardest part about being in another country, I would probably say that that is it for us. We, we left the UK when Malia was four months old and we've always been traveling full-time or living in another country, so it's always been really, really hard mm. having, you know, help from somebody else. It's so bright. It's so bright, it's blinding. Anything, but it's lunchtime. Good morning guy. Very good. Had a coffee. Talked about life a little bit. Plans for the future. Um, How's the villa? Stunning. So so beautiful. It's <laughs> I was gonna say it's one of the best places we've been to, but I feel like we say this all the time. No, I, I think we're gonna have to ban ourselves. We can't, from we saying can't that keep phrase. saying we're one of the best places we've been to, but like I always say, every place has its own unique feature and I love the centerpiece of this place, like this what's it called? Like a like a sunken living, living space. Area. Yeah, like um, which is where we are right now. And everything's kind of like all the actions is happening in the middle. Uh, the swimming pool, the dining table. The living space so yeah it's a very very cool villa and you should check it out <laughs> who's your friend this is i don't know what his name is there's a couple of these guys roaming around bigger ones yeah and this is the smaller one this is the baby uh, i've never really interacted with tortoises no <laughs> before how do you stroke them right? i don't know <laughs> i don't want it to bite my finger but yeah they just kind of stroll around there's three of them a big big one uh, one of them likes to follow you. A middle sized one that will like chase you around. And this guy, last time I was here, he likes to follow the other ones usually. He's the little, the little baby behind. that's just yeah. running around, the older kids. Exactly. So, uh, talk to us really briefly about school. Schooling, again, where we are, Nairobi for example, you have tons of options for schooling. Um, but I do know that it's also very expensive based on what friends of ours have, have told us about international schools anyway. Where we are, prior to this year, there's only ever been very simple uh, local schools, but we've recently found a small school for Malia to go to, which is more of on an international level, uh, which is really nice. And we just sent her there three days, three days a week at the moment. They have a very relaxed kind of approach to that. They don't make you take them there five days a week. And yeah, so it's it's cool because it's a great real. It's a great mix of Kenyan, international, like everybody all together. And that we pay about the equivalent of ten dollars per day to send her there. She does enjoy it, even though she will never admit to it. Also, just a note: today's video is not supposed to be a completely in-depth look at every aspect of our life. It was just we'd been asked some questions recently, and we thought, you know what? instead of constantly replying to these questions, why not actually put a video out there? So it's just a, a basic breakdown of how we feel about living as a family in here Kenya. in Kenya. Yeah. And it's also an opportunity for us to film this beautiful place we're staying in as well. But if you guys want the in-depth one? Yeah, we can make one. If you would like an in-depth breakdown of our exact cost of living, our exact daily routine, like how long I brush my teeth for. That's um, not what I meant. <laughs> right in the comments down below. Smells amazing, what's going on? Alex, uh, what's I'm making some uh, big old fluffy American style pancakes for breakfast. Thank you for the presentation. Good morning. Good morning. Just got a bunch of buys from yesterday. Malia, who's your friend? What's her name? Is it Anastasia? Yeah? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> what are you making for us? Pancakes. Yummy. How many are you going to have? One million. One million. All the pancakes. Yeah. Are you going to make a million pancakes? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Might take you a lifetime. <laughs>
guys doing? We're feeding out the possums. Oh? No, but he can't move that far. You have to, like, slide it out. There you go. Did you see? Mm -hmm. oh, you made him jump. Hey! <laughs> but don't feed all of it to him. I think that's enough for him. Yum. Because he can't feed all of it. Why? Because we have we a few have, more. Yeah, two oh. more. Okay, so tell me, where do you think in Kenya is the best place to move to? Where's the best place to move to in Kenya? Yeah. Wow. For what? For As me? a family. All right, so I can definitely see the appeal for families in Nairobi because of all the options of schools. There's schools, there's the German school, English school, French school, all the different international schools, as well as some good Kenyan schools, tons of playgrounds, which we're actually think gonna do a vlog about the we will. like things to do with a child in, in Nairobi. In Nairobi. Yeah. Don't push down on him, please, Marley. Playgrounds, restaurants, all those kind of things. I can definitely see the appeal to Nairobi. But if you want to give your child sunshine, beaches. Barefoot life. Like running around wild, like, like this her. one. <laughs> the coast. Like definitely. Watamu. And between the coast, you've got Watamu, Kilifi. Malindi. Malindi. Mombasa, Diani. Diani. Like the, uh, Niali. Niali, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of options. Um, yeah. Cool. Come on, let's go and get the other. We're going now. Let's see the small tour. To the one, the little one. Yeah. Do you know where it is? I don't know. I don't know. Let's but find we're it. We're going to find it. Yeah. Got to mention I realized something. The, uh, the most important part of the tour. <laughs> haven't shown Ina the gym. Um, so let's go. Let's go see the gym. <laughs> no, first the tortoise. Oh, first okay, the tortoise. We can find the, the tortoise and, and the, the gym. gym. <laughs> is this it? Yeah, Wait, who trains here? I think the staff. Okay. <sighs> Oh, Tell wow. me, how heavy is this? <laughs> and this is made of pain. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah, go on. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, they're probably lifting that thinking, wow, this is really heavy. <gasps> yeah, so there's no agenda on this trip. We're actually doing some, um, doing a shoot here for the villa and um, the rest of the time we're not, the idea is not to go out and explore Lamu this time. It's more just to, in our downtime, we're just kind of chilling as a family. She wants me to hold the tortoise food. Um, okay, let's, let's go, go and look for this baby tortoise and then it's gonna be lunchtime. I haven't found it yet. No, I think it's lunchtime. I think we're having sushi for lunch. Well, that was the plan, but there's, we've had a power cut for the last 14 hours. So I don't know whether they'll be able to make rice. It's very unusual. Yeah, let's see. Is it that time again? Time to go home? Yes. When? Home next. Where next? Yeah, time to pack up, fly back to Malindi, back to Otamu and dinner bed and then we start it all again tomorrow. Okay, but I have one question before we head to the airport. How are you finding food here? Food? I love the food here. I, I honestly have no, no issues with the food out here. I love traditional Swahili foods. I also love the fact that it has a big international food scene as well. Even in Watamu, like, I mean, you can get a lot of Italian food. There's a lot of Italians in Watamu. Yeah, you can get pretty much whatever you want. Got a nice fusion though. You can get like a bit of everything, right? So. Yeah, Nairobi for sure. Like, I think the food, thing that we miss is Indian food. <laughs> yeah, Nairobi for Indian food though. Wow, like. Mint Shack, is it called Mint Shack? Mint Shack, Mint Shack in an Mint open Mint house. Nairobi. If you've been to Mint Shack in Nairobi, comment down below, what did you think of Mint Shack? Where's the best Indian in Nairobi? Because <laughs> that for us was the best. That's true.
in there. It's a secret. Is it? Mm. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> it's a good way to end the weekend. It definitely is. It is. Now we're home now. We didn't want feel like socializing for the rest of the evening, so it's family pizza night, and then we'll chill, maybe watch something together, and let's eat the pizza first, yeah. and then we end the vlog. Yes. Malia, hmm? I have a question for you. What? What is your favorite thing about living in Kenya mm. as a kid? Eating sweets. Eating sweets, but you can do that anywhere. That's not a Kenyan Something thing. about Kenya. Something that you, Something can, that only you can only do, do here. here in Watamu. Mm. Or in Kenya. Meeting Stasia. <laughs> meeting Stasia. Meeting your friends. Uh, meeting friends. <laughs> she's going to be watching this, so you can say hi. Hi, Stasi. Yeah, she's already watching it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> this one. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna end it there. This was a little taster of just how we live in Kenya as a family because we get asked a lot. So I hope you took some value from it. Um, if you didn't, sorry, watch one of the other ones. But if you did, please uh, please don't forget to like the video and write some comments and help us to if grow you, the channel. If you guys have some questions that we haven't maybe covered during this video, then uh, drop us a comment below. And if we get enough comments, questions then maybe we can do another youtube video a little bit more in depth but for now is it we're back in watamu and we're going to sleep you're going to sleep now my dear mm -hmm. uh -huh. why don't you say lala salama lala banana. <laughs> lala <panana>. lala's bananas <laughs> <laughs> all right see you next time good night